Hello guys, today I want to show you how to work with Cache Abstraction Layer provided by Spring. You can check its documentation and you can find a lot of information and good examples. Alright, let's see some code. Uh, here I have a Spring Boot project. First of all, you have to have to configure Spring Boot Starter Cache dependency. And in my case, I am using Wava as provider, as Cache provider. And then you can uh, see here its dependency. After that, you have to configure in your application IML uh, your Cache names you want to use. And in my case, uh, because I am using Wava as provider, I have to, or I can configure some specific parameters like uh, cache size and expiration time of the values in cache. Okay, after that, in your Spring Boot application, you have to uh, enable caching support. And uh, in this example, I have this, uh, this bin um, to illustrate how to use the Spring Cache annotations. We can see uh, four types of annotations. First of all, uh, here you can configure uh, this annotation to, uh, to put uh, the names of the, the caches you want to work. Then uh, you don't have to put in all annotations uh, the attribute catch names. Avoiding then duplicated code. The catch put uh, annotation um, uh, its behavior uh, permits execute the method and after that put the result in the cache. Uh, Cacheable annotation, uh, first of all, see if in the cache is stored a value with this key. If it hits, then the method is not computed. And finally, cache big uh, remove from the cache uh, the value associated to this key and the method is computed. Okay, let's see how it works. Putting all together. Uh, here you can see I have a debug point before create a car, before get a car invocation before remove a card and finally again uh, before uh, invoke uh, get car method. The expected behavior is uh, the crafted method is computed and uh, in this line uh, the cache contains uh, the, the key one associated with our car value. Um, in this line, uh, you can perform a hit in the cache. Then the get card method is not computed. Finally, with this invocation, uh, the cache is removed, and then at this point, the cache is empty. And finally, uh, the last invocation to get card method is computed because the Cache is empty. Okay, if I play, we can see how the method is computed. At this point, the cache have an untry. Then uh, you can see I have a, a breakpoint here in getCard method, but uh, 
the execution is not stopped at this breakpoint because the cache uh, uh, has this, this value. Okay. Finally, the remove is executed. At this point, uh, the cache is empty because the key ID uh, passed by parameter is removed from the cache. And finally, uh, in this last invocation, the get car method is computed because the cache is empty. And that's all. Uh, I hope uh, you found it interesting and see you in the next uh, screencast.